The Lord led his people in hope while they see engulf their foes. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. The Mass is offered this morning for Helen Bryce. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal Mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Peter and John were talking to the people, the priests came up to him, accompanied by the captain of the temple and the Sadducees. They were extremely annoyed at their teaching the people the doctrine of the resurrection from the dead by proclaiming the resurrection of Jesus. They arrested them, but as it was already late, they held them till the next day. But many of those who had listened to their message became believers, the total number of whom had now risen to something like 5,000. The next day, the rulers, elders, and scribes had a meeting in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, Jonathan, Alexander, and all the members of the high priestly families. They made the prisoners stand in the middle and began to interrogate them. By what power and by whose name have you men done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, addressed them. Rulers of the people and elders, if you are questioning us today about an act of kindness to a cripple and asking us how he was healed, then I am glad to tell you all and will indeed be glad to tell the people, the whole people of Israel, that it was by the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, the one you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. By this name and by no other, that this man is able to stand up perfectly healthy here in your presence today. This is the stone rejected by you, the builders, but which has proved to be the keystone. For, all, for of all the names in the world given to men, this is the only one by which we can be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end that the sons of Israel say, His love has no end, that those who fear the Lord say, His love has no end. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. 
The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus showed himself again to the disciples. It was by the Sea of Tiberias, and it happened like this. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee and two more of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. They replied, we'll come with you. They went out and got into the boat, but caught nothing that night. It was light by now, and there stood Jesus on the shore, though the disciples did not realise that it was Jesus. And Jesus called out, Have you caught anything, friends? And when they shouted, when they answered no, he said, Throw the net out to starboard, and you'll find something. So they dropped the net, and there were so many fish that they could not haul it in. The disciple Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. At these words, it is the Lord, Simon Peter, who had practically nothing on, wrapped his cloak round him and jumped into the water. The other disciples came on in the boat, towing the net and the fish. They were only about a hundred yards from land. As soon as they came ashore, they saw that there was some bread there and a charcoal fire with fish cooking on it. Jesus said, bring some of the fish you have just caught. Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net to the shore, full of big fish, 153 of them. And in spite of there being so many, the net was not broken. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. None of the disciples was bold enough to ask, Who are you? They knew quite well it was the Lord. Jesus then stepped forward, took the bread and gave it to them, and the same with the fish. This was the third time that Jesus showed himself to the disciples after rising from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's amazing to hear from Peter the words he proclaimed in the presence of the high priests and the authorities in Jerusalem. This is a man who, when challenged, when he had followed the temple guards who had arrested Jesus the night before he died and went into the courtyard, and when he was challenged, uh, are you another of that man's disciples? He denied it. He denied even knowing him, calling curses down upon himself. And now look at him. Now Simon Peter is confident. He's standing in front of the authorities in Jerusalem who, let's face it, have the power to do to him what they did to Jesus. But there is no fear now. He proclaims very very clearly he says that it was by the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene that we cured this man the the lame man the one you crucified whom God raised from the dead by this name and by no other that this man is able to stand up perfectly healthy here in your presence today this is the stone rejected by you the builders but which has proved to be the keystone for of all the names in the world given to men this is the only one by which we can be saved. Doing this, he's quoting from that wonderful psalm that we then 
followed the first reading with Psalm 117. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his love has no end. And there we read in the second verse, the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. And that day that Peter uh, spoke with such great confidence and courage before the authorities was indeed made by the Lord. And the new Peter was made by the Lord, whose death and resurrection brought life. And of course, by then, the, the Holy Spirit had been sent upon them and made them new men. And indeed, this day, this Easter Friday, Friday in the Easter octave, is made by the Lord. It is a day to be joyful and to be courageous and confident in our faith. For this day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad, and great marvels are done. Men who were lame walk. Men who were cowering and not living up to their calling as disciples now are leading and proclaiming uh, powerfully the gospel. And we see how this starts when Jesus once again meets his disciples. Once again in the gospel we see another occasion where there is a meal with his disciples. Again, Eucharistic imagery as we had yesterday uh, or the day before yesterday. Uh, when Jesus met the disciples on the road to Emmaus, showing us that the Mass is very much at the heart of making present the power of Christ's sacrifice, his death, his resurrection in our hearts and in our lives. And even though we may not be able to physically come to Mass, the power of it reaches into our homes. The fact that we celebrate Mass, at least in our communities, uh, we can join together spiritually and spiritually be united to the work of the Mass, which carries on Christ's work and continues to make a new day in our lives and make of us new people to proclaim his gospel wherever we go. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just 
our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate. Sorry celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also, for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of the, all their sins, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, 
the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
or sacrament most holy, or sacrament divine, or praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine, or sacrament most holy, or sacrament divine, or praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine, or sacrament most holy, or sacrament divine, or praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Jesus said to his disciples, Come and eat. And he took bread and gave it to them. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go on and announce the gospel of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.